Okay, bro. Now we are going. We are moving to the next topic. The applications of double integration. The most important application of double integration is finding area enclosed by a plane curves. If two or more curves you are having, to find area between two curves, we use double integration effectively. So for that, first we need to evaluate the limits of integration. That is, that will be evaluated in two ways. One is directly solving given two equations. Another one is drawing the geometrical figure of given curves. That one will be little tough by drawing these curves like this because x square, if x has even power, that will be on y axis. That means the curve on y axis is x square equal to 4y. The curve on x axis is y square equal to 4x x square equal to 4 by y square equal to 4 x. Now, we need to get the limits. For that, what we need to do? Simply solve the two equations. y square equal to 4 x, x square equal to 4 y. Simply what you do? Simply squaring on both sides. If you square this one on both sides, y to the power of 4 equal to 16 x square. What is x square 1? x square is 4y, 16 into 4y, y power 4. Get that one, 2 LHS, 16 4 is 64. y power 4 minus 64 y equal to 0. Take y comma, y cube minus 64 equal to 0. That means y will be 0. y cube equal to 64. 64 can be written as 4 cube, so y will be 4. So y limits are clear. Y is 0 to 4. Y limits are 0 to 4. Next, we need to find x limits. If one variable limits are constant, another variable limits will be variable limits. That means y limits constant. X limits you will get in terms of y. X limits in terms of y is very clear. X is from, from this equation find out x. X equal to y square by 4 to x square equal to 4 y. X equal to root. Root 4 is 2. 2 root 1. So taking limits of x these and limits of y these, we are going to evaluate area of the region enclosed between these two plane curves. Area, required area equal to double integral over region dy dx or dx dy. Now write the limits because x limits are in terms of y. That's why first we are going to integrate with respect to x. Integral y equal to 0 to 4, x equal to 0 to, sorry, x equal to y square by 4 to 2 root y, x square by 4 to 2 root y, dx dy. So integral 1 dx is x, that's why y equal to 0 to 4, 1 dx x, limits from y square by 4 to 2 root y, D now, integral y equal to 0 to 4. Write in the place of x 2 root y. 2 root y. Write in the place of x y square by 4. y square by 4 dy. So, to root y means y power 1 by 2. Root y means y power 1 by 2. So, if you integrate using integration formula, right, integral x power n, x power n plus 1 by n plus 1, what you will get 1? 1 by 2 plus 1 by 1 by 2 plus 1. That means y power 3 by 2 by 3 by 2. So 1 by 4 constant. Integral y square y cube by 3. Limits 0 to 4. So now if you substitute the limits, here 2 2 are 4. Denominator, denominator comes to numerator. 4 by 3. Right in the place of y 4. 4 power 3 by 2 minus 1 by 12, 4 3 is 12, 4 cube 64, 4 cube is 64. Now, this can be written as 2 square, right? 2 square, 2 2 get cancelled. Then what happens? 2 will be there, 2 cube, 8, 8 4 is 32 by 3. Now cancel this one. If you cancel with 4, 4 3 is 4 16s, 
That means 16 by 3 you will get. 32 minus 16, 16 by 3. If you want, you can use from here calculator mark. Simply enter these values here. How you entered as a notebook entry in the calculator, directly you will get 16 by 3. You can use your calculator for simplification. Okay, but any doubts you can ask. We need to evaluate area of circle ma, of radius A of radius A by double integration in polar coordinates, not in Cartesian. That means equation of circle we know equation of circle with radius A is x square plus y square equal to A square. To convert this one into polar coordinates, we need to write, we need to take x as r cos theta, y as r means A. Here A is radius, right? A cos theta, A sin theta. So to convert a Cartesian form into polar form, we are going to take these uh, limits more. But generally what we will take, to convert a Cartesian form into polar form, we will take x as r cos theta, y as r sin theta. Already we will discuss it that one. Cart conversion of Cartesian to polar, replace x with r cos theta, y with r sin theta. Then dx dy, you need to replace like this, r dr d theta. So this r is Jacobian of x, y with respect to r theta. We did this one in change, change of variable in double integration. The topic is there. In that topic, we discussed very clearly. Now, I am going to find area. Generally, area of circle is area of circle to evaluate using double integral. We write like this, double integral over r dx dy. But what happens here? double integral dx dy what is dx dy r dr d theta here limits are very clear one limits are very clear radius is a units that means r will be from 0 to a and here i am taking this region for example this is the circle i am evaluating this one from 0 to pi by 2 because this is symmetric same figure in every quadrant. So instead of evaluating complete quadrant, four quadrants, I am evaluating this area in one quadrant. I am multiplying the same one with four. Then what happens? Four into integral theta equal to zero to pi by two will give you complete area of the circle. This one, this one, this one, this one, complete four. Four quadrants I am evaluating at a time. By taking limits, r is from 0 to a, theta is from 0 to pi by 2. So, theta is from 0 to pi by 2. What is integral r? Integral r is r square by 2. Limits from r equal to 0 to a d theta. Integral r is r square by 2. Now, write in the place of r a. So, before that, 2 1 0, 2 2 0 get cancelled theta equal to 0 to pi by 2, here 2 will be there. So write in the place of r a, what you will get? a square d theta. Now a square is constant, integral 1 d theta, theta limits 0 to pi by 2. So now 2 a square, write in the place of theta pi by 2, pi by 2, 2 2 get cancelled, pi a square. So pi a square, pi r square, area of a circle pi r square. So this is area of circle in polar coordinates. Okay. Okay. Find the area of circle using double integration. So here simply we need to find area of circle using double integration. So if you ask find area of circle using double integration by converting into polar coordinates, then we will convert into in terms of polar coordinates. But now we are going to find area of circle using double integration Cartesian form of itself. That means in terms of x and y. Let a be the a be the radius of circle. If a be the radius of circle, then equation of circle, radius of circle passing through the origin. x square plus y square equal to a square. This is the equation. 
if you have one equation to get limits, keep one variable zero, get another variable limits uh, as constant, and directly find out one variable limits in terms of another. For that, I am keeping y zero. Then what happens? X limits will be zero to a. You may have root a square. You may have plus or minus a, but I am going to evaluate this region. This region. This is from zero to a only. Zero to a only. X is from here to here. Zero to a. And y is from here to here. That we need to find. So one quadrant I am taking. That area I am multiplying with four. So that I will get complete circle area. So now x is from zero to a. Y from the given equation find out directly y value. What you will get? Y square equal to a square minus x square. What is y? Root of a square minus x square. Then y limits are zero to root a square minus x square. Now area of circle. Area of circle equal to double integral over r. Double integral over r dy dx. Now x limits are zero to a. Y limits are zero to root a square minus x square dy dx. What is integral one dy? Integral one dy is y limits zero to root a square minus x square dx. One dy y. Write in the place of y y value. Now. If you write in the place of y y value, x equal to zero to a root a square minus x square dx. Write in the place of y that value. Now there is a formula integration integral root of a square minus x square dx equal to x by two root of a square minus x square. The same formula I am writing plus a square by two sine inverse x by a. That is formula integration formula. The same formula we are adopting to evaluate this integration here. X by two. Sorry here. We are evaluating this portion only. So if you multiply the answer with four, you will get complete area of circle. Because I written here area of circle, you will get area of circle by multiplying this region. If you assume this one as O A B that region, O A B region. If you multiply O A B region area with four, you will get the area. That's why O A B I written. I am multiplying that one with four. So if you multiply this one with four, x by two root of a square minus x square plus a square by two sine inverse x by a limits zero to a. If you write in the place of x a, ma half a limit. If you write in the place of x a, what happens? While writing in the place of x a, this term becomes completely zero. Now, if you write here in the place of x a, a square by two. Sine inverse. Write in the place of x a, a by a one. So if you write in the place of x zero, lower limit, you will get completely zero. No need to substitute. Zero into anything zero. Sine inverse zero zero. Now four into a square by two. Sine inverse of one. In sine, value will get one. Sine ninety. Sine zero zero. Sine ninety one. So sine inverse of one is five by two. So two two zero four one. Four four get cancel. So what is remaining? Pi a square. Area of circle is pi a square. Area of circle with radius r is pi r square. You know that. That one only we derive. 